Modern Horizons 3 brings us Eugene's Labyrinth, which makes two mana on turn one. If we exile a big colorless card from hand, that's pretty easy to do with the Bower Destiny. When it's in our opening hand, we dig four deep, and we can put one card on top. These two cards work super well together because the Bower can find Labyrinth, and because it costs seven, it also turns on Labyrinth. And when we finally have too much mana, Labyrinth can return the Bower to hand. What can we do with two mana on turn one? We can play House of the Void to shut off all one drops, but it gets even better because if we're on the draw, we can start the game with Gemstone out, which means we can have three mana on turn one. Enabling a turn one turn here. It makes every spell cost at least three to play, including free spells. That's absolutely backbreaking for opponent. And even with Trinus throughout, Chalice of the Void still works. But it gets even better because it will draw these temples, making all of our hoes really easy to cast, like Hope Ender Coddle, which when we cast it, we counter a spell unless our opponent has one. We counter a spell and we get a 2 2 flyer that's totally nuts. But the sexiest play of all, dress down on our opponent's end step, causing creatures to lose all abilities for turn. And then on our turn, we evoke Null Drifter. When we cast it, we draw two cards. And normally with Evoke, we have to sacrifice the creature when it enters. But with Rust Sun out, we don't sacrifice and Null Drifter stays out permanently, giving us a 4 4 flyer with Annihilator 1. So when it attacks, our opponent must sacrifice a permanent. As for the rest of the deck, we have All's Us to Wipe, Thought for Hand Disruption, and when our opponent tries to remove the Thought and draw a card, we can play Dress Down to stop them. Then there's Carnage Egg, as well as Ring, Three Man to delay our opponent, and if Fetch, that finds Basics, and never sideboard. There are a lot of toys we can find with Karn, Favorite Hate, Black Gain, Activity Hate, Land Hate, Weenie Hate, Attacker's Hate, ETB hate, combo hate, board wipe, super land hate, weenie hate, and then a the flute for more combo hate, and then cosmic for mill hate, that has a deck. And now it's time to see it in action. Be sure to stick around because we're in the middle of a giveaway. And now off we go. Opening hand sword and land. So we do have devour, so we're gonna keep. The one passes, and these all suck. We'll take a land, and then we'll pass. And it's a graveyard deck. Probably with player denial. Thought for us. All we can do is play chalice and pass. They hard cast Necro Amoeba. They must be desperate. Or they have flair. Speaking of desperate, we can't play anything. So we'll pass. And they hard cast prize amalgam. They're playing green, so they probably have engine. Finally land. Well I thought. <laughs> Poor opponent. They can't play Deadly Swat. We'll just take their chill and pass. And what they concede? Who can blame them? We're gonna get to this one time too. And this hand's most sexy. We'll have to watch out for Pick Your Poison, but we'll keep. But should we Gemstone as well? We can pass on the Chalice and go straight for Trinosphere. Yeah, let's do that. We so not D. They know. Gravecrawler goes to the graveyard. Do we want to land? I suppose. Eugene's Labyrinth. Three mana on turn one. For Trinosphere. <laughs> Opponent passes that sadness. Might as well play rank. It's not like I can counter. Oh, we win. That was an epic struggle, but we persevered. We're off to a good start. Now it's on the next match. Opening hand, we have Eugene's Labyrinth, but no seven drop. And also no blue, so we'll mull. And that's kind of tanky. But we'll keep. Oh, eggs. Oh, baby. That's the best thing we could have drawn. Play a sphere. Our opponent must be devastated. They pass out sadness. And another labyrinth. We'll hold up dress down and pass. And five colors. Oh, so fairy. So they can bounce our transphere. We'll have to dress down now. They choose not to bounce anything. Crusty Karn, that's pretty good. Good. We'll play Crusty Karn, put Ring in hand and pass. And now they bounce Trina Sphere and play Binding, taking out our Karn. And they play Recruiter. What kind of deck is this? Finding Eternal Witness. No Drifter, that's pretty good. We'll first play Dress Down. Finding another Drifter. A pretty tricky move here. Play another Labyrinth. Then play Trina Sphere again. Evoke Null Drifter. And how fabulous was that? No, they take out Trina Sphere. Another Binding. But Daddy has a plan. This shall be most sexy. First play Chalice. Return to Bower to hand. How to decide what to take. I suppose play Line. Getting back Karn. Grab Titan Pass. Our opponent must be feeling pretty pregnant here. They play Ice Tank. The Drawn has a touch. But how will they answer Titan? With only one blue mana open, they bounce the Bower. But we can just recast it and exile something else. Oh, there's a blue. What? They're tapping out? Or Witness? Okay, they get back to Fairy. They could have Flare Denial. But I think that's a risk we can take. Play Titan. Titan hits. No lands for you. Well, up Crusty Car and pass. Another land good for them. And why the Solitude? But Titan triggers when it leaves as well. No lands for you. And realizing that 10 mana is greater than one, our opponent concedes. So we're gonna get into some for mana. That's going to two. Opening hands a little weak, but we have the power, so we're going to keep. Oh, one plays Guide of Souls. And this would be kind of tricky. Quaddle could be good, but all dust is really good. Just not at this moment. Or we're just going to pick Quaddle. Then we must pass. Guide of Souls is scary, though. Come on, Diggs. Horror, horror, fantastic. Well, we want to play our thought first. So we'll instead hold Quaddle. Uh oh, Revoker. Should we just play Dress Down? Probably. Revoker does nothing. It's plot time. Oh, dear. They do have a flare, but no blue creatures. We'll take Magus. Oh, one passes. Ooh, Temple. Horror, orb. We shall swing. And send it back. Oh, opponent swings. How lovely. Quaddle, walk their guide, and they let it die. <laughs> 
Let me play Eternal Witness, who we have for the power. Might as well play one. Thank them for six. Our opponent's thinking long and hard here. I think our opponent may have rage quit. Who could blame them? After he motorboated their tits into oblivion. We'll pray for the recovery, but now it's on the next motorboating. Opening hand's pretty strong. We're gonna keep. This is gonna be a tough decision. There's Chalice, but we are on the play. So we won't get it until next turn. I think Temple might actually be stronger. We'll take Temple. We'll start with Eugene's Labyrinth. Halfling with an Anadu deck. Which goes infinite with Shuko. Halfling makes Kawada awkward. We'll still we'll try for it anyway. Oh, Nantuko. Trying to spam out creatures, but we counter. And they play Saga. The Bower for us. And that Saga's an issue. The Karn is pretty good here. And it's setting off Shuko. We'll play Crusty Karn, but it's certainly not a hard lock. They play Nantuko. So whenever land enters, they net out a weenie. Oh, shit, Temple. So we can play all our things now. We'll first attempt to lock them. Coding. On the Saga. Karn will destroy it. And if we can just survive this turn, we'll be getting in the boobers real good. Another token for them. More lands for them. Our opponent rarely passes. More land. Hit their land. No land for you. They might have core, but we'll attack anyway. No cord. And now all dust. They better have counter. Cord on two? For coiling Oracle? And they concede. That was fun. What are we gonna do from opponent two? Opening hand, we have gemstone. We'll keep. We double dig. These are a bit sanky. We'll take temple. Dig number two. But temple's still better. We'll play temple and pass. What opponent passes? We draw dress down. And play our thought. They draw high sank. And counter with flare denial? Okay. Opponent digs. And finds Haywire Might. And they have Saga. And they play Shuko? Who ever nice. We'll play it. So wish we exile dust or devour. The devour first seems smarter. But then again, if we show dust, we'll know we have it. We'll exile devour. Play ring. Even though they have might. Ooh, chalice. We could chalice on zero for summoner's pack. That'd be pretty brutal. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh oh, there's a cord. They're getting Nadu. And they can draw at least eight cards. Oh, shoot, and who go? Two hours later. What, is our opponent having a stroke? They did have a stroke. They needed double loop with Hassel's Oracle. Oh, well, they only had one blue source. But even if our opponent had won this game, we would have been on the play on game three. So the odds were not in our opponent's favor. Oh well, on the next match. Oh, winning hand, we have gemstones, we're gonna keep. Exile land. Chalice first. Oh, I really need land. We'll play Chalice and pass. And this looks like creativity. Should play Ren. We get back to the land. Where's our land? Oh, we'll pass. The opponent passes. Oh shit. Oh, part of our plan. They make a clue. And we play Scary to Fairy. And now we find a land. Play Transfer and pass. They fetch for a weenie. And they can combo off at instant speed. Which is a real Osinki for us. Land. But no colorless. We'll play Karn. Big for an artifact. And find the stone brain. Oh, and they combo off. And they have a Ulamagi. Yep, they have us. Because they have an Outlet or 10. So game two already. We won't get game two. So we're going to go for this time too. This hand kind of bad. We'll mull. And at least we have Devour. We'll keep. For sound nice. We can try for the combo, but we'll need to draw land here. Please land for daddy. Who land? No different time. How wonderful. Does our opponent have Leyline Binding? Oh shit. Karn's a little too risky here. So we'll instead hold up our instance of pass. I'm going to try for Fable. We'll remand. Might as well dress down. Never mind. This Rock Flute. We'll play it named Creativity. Oh, but Ren. I would have liked to name Ren with this Rock Flute, but at least we get Karn here. We'll play Karn. Now we'll counter. Fine, we'll pass. They play Fable. We draw land. Try for Karn again. Grab Titan just in case. We'll need a Labyrinth for that. They build Karn. Make another token. They swing. And they pass. That's not a land, but it's still pretty good. Play Bliss on three. And another weenie for them. They swing. Risk Give it block shaman and mega sack an artifact. We can only remove one counter from Melissa this turn. So don't Melissa. And shoot, they go for the combo. Yep, they have us. Unless their hand's empty. And we draw a land here. We do draw a land. All is us. What that worked? They still have six cards in hand. Are we actually still in it? The one passes. And there is a land. We'll first make them sack. And then try for Titan. And that worked? What? I thought for sure we were clapped. Praise the magic gods. But now we must settle things in game three. Opening hand, labyrinth, but no big things. We'll mull. And this is better. We'll keep. All these cards are a little sad. Thank you. We'll choose none of them. Ew, Gemstone. We'll play Labyrinth and Pass. Ren. And Ration Pop's pretty good. We'll hold up Quaddle and Pass. We'll tap out here. Now we pass. We'll flash in Quaddle anyway. Let's drop Flute nice. Swing at Ren. Do we go Flute and Ratchet? Or just a Thought? We could shut down Ren. But they didn't even return a land on their turn. We'll risk it and play Thought. And they did have Creativity. And pick a Poison. We'll definitely take Creativity. They surveil something on top. And make a token. Oh, that was a good top deck. They got Archon. Land, okay. Should we bluff and swing at Ren? That'd be really wild. We'll have to sack thought anyway. We'll bluff. And they don't walk. Play bomb. And we'll make creativity. But they are nutting for nine this turn. And drawing a card. Something good for daddy? No, so close. One mana off. So our opponent takes the match. Good for them. And it's on the next match. Opening hand, we have Devour, so we're gonna keep. Temple for us. For now, let's play an island and pass. One draws. And plays on stable amulet. They get a card they can play. And they can keep doing it for two energy. Three mana, that's good. We'll hold up our stuff and pass. They take some more. Finding another amulet. That deals one to us. Now the question is, do we dress down or remand? With all the storms 
Strong Soft. I really think we need Trinosphere. Solar Man. Strong Eugene Labyrinth. We'll play it. And try for Trinosphere. Trinosphere hits. Bottom building our opponent's hits. Another amulet. A big and fun Wrathless Skies. That could wipe out our Trinosphere. But it takes other amulets as well. So many fantastic options. We have our combo. Carnage Hunt and Gold will go with combo. For sound. And evoke Nil Drifter. How wonderful. They fetch. And reanimate Flage. Dealing three to us. Also triggering whenever it attacks. Many tricky decisions. We'll first swing. They attack an amulet. And we could rest out on their turn. But we might have counter for it. We could also bounce with Odawara. Bouncing seems pretty good. So we'll pass. Time to bounce. Maybe play it, but it goes to the graveyard. Dealing three to Nil Drifter. And playing another Flage. They so nutty. We could play Car and get Graveyard Hate. But it's here hurts it. We'll instead play our thought. These are all pretty good. We'll take this charge. And then we must pass. Wrath of Skies. Heading on a Trinosphere. And our thought not. We'll dress down the draw. Who knows if sir? That is a plan. Play Crusty Karn. Find Crypt. I go the graveyard. Evoke Nil Drifter and pass. Oh, it draws. Plays Raptor. Finding nothing. We have a bolt in hand. Oh, another Raptor. Also finding nothing. But now we'll definitely bolt. Wiping out our board. There's a lot of math here. Dress down. Nil Drifter. And Trinosphere. What shall I do about that? Oh, the swings. They definitely have someone that will block. Raptor goes to Jesus. And another Plage. And they play another amulet. Another risky move. Play our thought. Take the Raptor. Play Karn. Pwn digs for Scary to Parry. Grab Titan and pass. They play Scary to Parry. Bouncing Trinosphere. They draw Mech of Energy. Uh oh, and they have four mana. So they can play Plage. Oh no, they play Raptor. Finding Ring. But as long as they have Karn, they can't activate. And unfortunately, our timer is really low. So Daddy will have to pass forward from here. So in rushing to try and finish game one, Daddy kind of drop a soap. And with so little time on the clock, the next two games are a speed run Bukake. We ramp super quickly in game two. Into a Null Drifter and a Wipe. And then game three was super wild. They shut off our lands with Damage Sphere. But we shut them off with Chalice. We both played Rings to draw a nutlet of cards. But then we played Torpor Orb to shut off their ETBs. And our opponent could not recover. So we took game three and the match. Quite an epic grind. So 4-1 overall. So there we have it. Part of Daddy is worried that Labyrinth is too strong. But the other part of Daddy's turned on. Thinking about all the cool cards to play with this. Like Fable or even Blood Sun. That would be pretty gangster. As for Null Drifter. We'll have to wait and see if this combo takes off. I hope you enjoyed the deck as much as Daddy did. And now the giveaway. All you need to do for a chance to win is to comment and be subscribed. Each pack is split between two winners. The only catch is that you have to keep watching the videos to find out if you won. Each winner will also receive a deck box that I've handpainted myself. The winners of these cards here will be announced in the next video. And until next time, stay to me thick.